Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. My name is Lemarack, and this is Herbal Space Program. Freshly released its uh, brand new expansion pack, Making History. Includes a whole bunch of new parts. I have not checked them out yet, but apparently they're there. They're all uh, uh, indicative of the old space race vehicles, back from the 60s and early 70s. And the other thing that's here that I'm going to be playing today is the Mission Builder. Well, I'm not going to be building missions. I'm going to be playing some of the stock missions. I want to I want to go through all these. It's because if you watched my little Kerbal Space Race video that I made a while ago, you'll know that I love the Space Race. It's by far one of the things that I love to bore my friends with the most. And uh, apparently these missions are supposed to be... Recreations of those, we got the Dawn of the Space Age, which, uh, looking at this, you know, reading this, uh, description is probably going to be the early Russian attempts at getting probes up into space and, you know, developing those rockets. Greetings! This mission tests your metal at the Dawn of the Space Age. You'll build a basic rocket to reach low altitude. Next, you'll build a high-altitude sounding rocket that will take temperature readings from the upper atmosphere. Finally, you'll create Kerbin's first artificial satellite, Jebnik-1, haha, and complete an orbit of Kerbin. Yeah, apparently we're skipping past the part where we're designing rockets to deliver giant nuclear payloads to, you know, other continents, and just go straight to the peaceful build, uh, spaceships thing. Alright, so... Yeah, this, uh, this looks like this is the, the list of the objectives that is still very confusing for me because I haven't actually tried to work in the mission builder. There are tutorial missions of how to use the mission builder itself, which I'm probably going to do off of camera. Uh, other things that I should mention is that this is a fresh new install of Kerbal Space Program. I'm, I'm starting entirely fresh. Uh, went with the GOG version this time just because I prefer buying things off GOG whenever they're available. And I'm also piloting my vessels now with a flight stick that I have. This is also a brand new idea, and I can't believe it took me this long to, to come up with this idea to play Kerbal Space Program with a joystick. It's just, when was the last time a joystick was ever used in a video game? Let's let's just be honest. Anyway, Dawn of the Space Age. Let's see what this is all about. So apparently we're going to have to build three rockets. Thanks. Uh, hello, Gene. This mission tests your metal. That, yes, we read all this. Okay. So we're starting off with a K-7 test rocket. Get it? K-7? Because of the, the R-7? Right. <clears throat> a rocket that will reach 5,000 meters and return to Kerbin, preferably landing near the old airfield island. The old airfield island is uh, its somewhere out that way, I think. Uh, we might no have enough... Might no have enough fuel to fill your tank. Uh, hey, squad. There's a typo there. Alright. So... Uh, this is not the Stay Put, Nick. This is definitely not the Stay Put, Nick. Wait, where are... What, what's going on? Where are all my things? Huh. Uh... Okay, something's obviously wrong here because this is the mammoth, not the hammer. Uh, and I have already exceeded the maximum weight. Alright, that, that helps, I guess. Well, I mean, this is very weird. I can't imagine that this is deliberate. In fact, it feels to me like... I can't even attach that. Well, I mean, this will easily make it up to 5,000 meters, but... Um... I'm guessing that my game might require a restart. <laughs> Give me a second here. Alright, we're back, and it looks like everything is better now. That's the stay put, Nick. Okay. So, let's bring this up again. What do we need? We need... Probodobodyne. Stay put, Nick. Here we go. 
Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, that's the hammer. Okay. Uh, we are apparently severely restricted in parts. We got structural fuselage and the adapter. Alright, well, this looks to be the core of our rocket right there. We have any command we don't have any command and control, so no. This is all gonna be this is gonna be an aerodynamic rocket for sure. And then what else we got? We got no coupling, no payload. We got some wings. Go with that. But with this one, I could actually even control it, so let's do that one. Uh, this. And then no ground, no thermal, no electric, no comms, no science, and no oh, wait, we do have a parachute. All right. Okay. So since this is entirely an aerodynamic rocket, here's my thinking. I'm going to take this, and we're going to rotate it. That. There we go. I want it like this so that uh, my, my pitch is correct when I, when I take off. And then this should technically, uh, because it's a little bit weighted on this side, should pull the rocket in that direction. Uh, Got to set the staging there. And in fact, the um, the island isn't actually straight to the east, it's a bit off to the side, so maybe like that, there. That's going to be our launch vehicle. This is the K-7 test rocket. Let's see if it works. Oh crap, what's wrong? Mass is too much. Okay, uh, decrease the fuel. There. Alright, now let's try it. Werner von Kerman, your goal is twofold, to reach 5,000 meters and to guide the K-7 rocket to splash down near the old airfield east of Kerbal Space Center. Yes, it's right there. See, there it is. Parachute's not entirely in the right position. If I... Can I go back to the... Can I go back to the hangar and reorient it? No, I cannot. Okay, well, I can restart the mission. It's probably not... Honestly, it's probably not worth that much. Uh, we got no SAS. That's not going to do anything, so I mean, let's just, let's just do it. Go. All right. Just get up to 5,000 meters. That's all we need. Oh. It works. I mean, of course it works. Look at your flying rock. Look at your rocket fly. Keep it up. That's for 5,000. Okay, we got 5,000 meters. You made it. This is the first step towards space. We have to do to think. Hey, you can see my house from up there? We decided getting the rocket might be a very bad idea. But what? Uh, okay. Now comes the part where I have to try and land it over there. Alright. I'm using my flight stick to <coughs> gently nudge it in that direction. It's actually working pretty fine. Oh, oh, okay. A bit too sensitive, maybe. Alright. Oh, no. Way, way, way too sensitive. Way too sensitive. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. All right. See if I can uh, guide this rocket in the direction it needs to go. At this point, actually, maybe just pushing downward is probably the best idea. Come on. We way, way overshot the. Uh, I wonder, we came up to 23,000 meters, so maybe if I had put less fuel in it... Okay, here we go, here we go. Maybe if I'd put less fuel in it, that would have, uh, would have helped. Okay. That's actually a good idea, just let it, let it fall downwards. Let it fall downwards, and then from there I can probably, like, do a... kind of an aerial corkscrew. Alright. Stay put, Nick, is not very aerodynamic. Don't think I have to... That requires much explanation as to why not. Let's keep that in our view. Flight stick is also very difficult for me to use after, you know, everything. Okay. Can't even honestly tell which direction I'm trying to. That's the direction I'm trying to move. Okay. There. Oh boy. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, 
I mean, I have partial control over it. It is somewhat working. I don't think we're going to be able to glide that far, though. Pretty sure we're But I am going to come close. Like, maybe within... Within, like, 10 kilometers. If I get in there within 10 kilometers, I'll be, I'll be pleased. The flight stick is pulled all the way down. So this is as much uplift as this, as this probe is able to generate, I fear. Look at that. It's not doing bad. Not doing bad at all. Come on, baby. You can do it. We're definitely going to be within 10 kilometers. I'm not landing this near the runway. Not by a long shot, but... Okay, how high are we above... Apologies. How high are we above sea level? We're about 1,000 meters. Alright, well... 8 kilometers isn't bad, I'm afraid. I'm not going to be able to... keep the probe from getting wet. But at least it's going to be recovered. All right, speed this up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It works. It really works. With what we've learned, we can start building bigger and better rockets till we finally reach the stars. Your next assignment is to create a sounding rocket, one that will reach much higher altitude. Good luck. All right, so now we just recover this? Yeah, okay. Next up, apparently, we are going to build a sounding rocket to take a temperature reading. Okay. Rocket that flies to a minimum of 48,000 meters takes a temperature reading and returns safely to Kerb. All right, we're still using the Stayputnik and the two-hot thermometer. So I assume we have new parts now, okay. So we'll start with the Stayputnik again, and then, the, oh, new stuff. Okay, we have fuel tanks, we have, we have the hammer, and we have two new engines. This is the skiff. This is one of the new parts I don't recognize. And it is apparently, it is a lighter, at higher thrust than the swivel. Is it more efficient, though? Looks to be a bit more efficient, yeah. Alright. Uh, what else? Still no SAS modules. Got the adapter. Got the stack separator. And we have a fairing now, too. Alright, well, let's start with that. Let's uh, put this on an adapter, couple it to a fairing, this here, yeah, like so, no, no. all right, you gotta, there we go, that, and that, there we go, okay, that's our probe core, then I think we should probably make this a two-stage rocket, I feel like this is the, um, this is like the second Russian attempt to, uh... Second Russian attempt to create a satellite. They're not a satellite, but a, but a rocket that, that, that flew. This is before the R-7 attempt. Satellites didn't actually come into the question in the, in the Russian space program until they had successfully created the rocket that can, uh... That can... Hit the... That could, that could actually... Until they managed to, to create an ICBM, basically. So until uh, Korolev was able to finish the R-7 rocket, he was not actually allowed to... Yeah, there we go. Not actually allowed to work on satellites. Okay. Gonna need some aerodynamics. I feel like... Now eh, we might as well use these. So the idea is to just go straight up. And this one's going to need some, too. Because yeah, this is still going to be in the atmosphere when it gets there. Okay. 
Anything I'm missing here? The thermometer, obviously. Uh, where is it? Oh, the parachute, of course. I'm actually going to put three of them. Should I? Oh yeah, I'm forgetting this again. Hang on. This is important. I'll start it from here. It's the way the, these vehicles work. This is the top of it, right? So I'm gonna put... Again, we'll... We'll tilt it in that direction. Same as we did last time. Probably not going to be enough, though, is it? Let's just... This is going to slow it down very much, but let's just make it, you know, put three parachutes on there, like that. That'll slow it down. And this is going to be the top, so we're going to take this... Actually, let's just, uh, let's just do it like this. Let's rotate it. Okay, what the heck is going on? Like to rotate this, please. Why are you not letting me rotate this? What the heck is going on? I lost the ability to do anything. do anything. There we go. I obviously pushed something, I just don't know what it was. Okay, so then we take this and we rotate it that way. 48,000 meters I don't think is going to make us land near the... Uh, uh, airfield again, that would be way too far away, but let's see how this works. 48,000 meters should be a cinch for this much delta V. Uh, let's put that there, and then separate these two. I don't even really think we need to deploy the fairing, honestly. Let's bring that down together. It's that much more you know, parts that we recovered. Alright, and the thermometer. Let's not forget the thermometer. Alright, let's put that over here. And I'm wondering, can we add this to like custom one there we go uh, log temperature data on custom one okay so if the rocket starts spinning like it does then I'm not gonna have to worry about you know grabbing it trying to try to click it okay save it it's the k7b and let's give it a shot I have to be very careful now, because if this rocket screws up, there's no going back. I can't come back and fix this. So, All right. Aiming at 48,000 meters. For this leg of the mission, you will need you need to fly above 48,000 meters and take a sounding temperature reading, then splash down in the ocean a long way east. Skilled pilot can fly with precision. We've marked a couple of nodes for you to attempt to hit. Feel up to the task. Where are they? Where are the... Oh, there we go. Well, those are in a different direction than what I had tried, but... You know what? Sure, we'll, we'll try it. We'll give it a shot. Still no SAS, so let's just... Hang on, I'm going to use the throttle thingy on my flight stick. Oh man, it's cool that that works. Okay. And let's go, like, let's just go full throttle, see how much that takes us, and go! Ooh, that's a lot of acceleration. I think we can slow down a bit from that. Keep an eye on our fuel. So, we got a bunch of messages about our mission. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and, and spin us a bit. Looks like it wants me to hit those coming down. Right. 
the speed up again. This is ridiculous. This doesn't even make aerodynamic sense that we're still... All right, well, we're reverting. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit those nodes on the way up this time, see if it's possible. care about the nodes let's just let's just go I'm not gonna touch the stick just go all the way up get the data and just land ignore the nodes I don't care if I turn out to not be a skilled pilot this vessel is uncontrollable and honestly I don't care once I'm allowed to build vessels to my own specifications using the parts I want, then, then start giving me these nodes. I love the new sound effects, by the way. This, I can tell that even after being away from KSP for a while, these are, these are new engine sounds. And they're really good. Thousand meter per second apoapsis height. Meter per second. Twenty. We have twenty-five thousand meters. There goes the first stage. All right. Don't touch the stick. Just let it go up. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Okay. Let's let it go up. The, the atmosphere is still going to slow it down. So let's stop around here. That should be enough. I missed that message. Can I? Can I read it? No. No. Right, I'd like to. History made. You're already higher than any Kerbal in history. Keep breaking these records. Sure, no problem. All right. All right, we're almost there. We're also supposed to crash into the sea at the east, so that didn't work out either. You are above 48,000 meters. You can finally answer the question. How cold is it that far up? Quick, take a temperature reading. All right, one. There we go, there's our temperature reading. This data will help us better understand important things like high altitude weather patterns and what kind of fuzzy setters we'll need to put. Missed it. 
of a kind of fuzzy sweaters we'll need to pack for future astronauts. Now bring it down in the eastern ocean if you can. Wouldn't you guys prefer it? I mean, didn't, didn't wasn't that the conclusion of the last flight that we don't want these probes getting wet? I mean, okay, yeah, let's get rid of these messages. I mean, look, I'm 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 above dry land. Isn't that better for us? I feel like that's better for us. Well, I mean, they want it in the Eastern Ocean, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, I'm gonna very gently increase the thrust, and then push this down that way. Crap. Yep, I've lost control, and there's no way, with, with no RCS and no SAS, this thing is just gonna spin like that forever, so. Gonna have to wait till it gets back into uh, into the atmosphere, which it is now, okay, but we're still gonna need some more air pressure. Once that happens, the vessel should start to, should start to, you know, quote unquote, stabilize in that the, the air is gonna get a, get a hold of those wings and at least it's gonna start falling right there we go. Yep, like that, okay. Now, now me using these controls actually does something Somewhat. There we go. Come on. Don't don't do this to me. Right, that's a retrograde vector. Can you turn us? Why is it so hard for an aerodynamic vessel to get toward the Yeah, this is not going down in the eastern ocean, not not by far. Not by far. So we almost have enough fuel to perform a a uh, powered landing, though. I'd be more... Of course, I didn't build it for that. I didn't build this to be a Falcon, but we'll give it a shot. Right. Yeah, just let it drop like this. That's fine. Suicide burn is... Where is it? Haven't really used it much. 5,000 meters down. We have enough Delta V, technically, to try it. We still have parachutes, so... Alright, let's do it. See if I can set the rocket down using just the thrusters. That'll be my challenge here. We went, we went too far, too fast. Should've just let it drop a bit more. Plenty of delta V. 1,000 meters, 900 meters, 500, 4, 3, 2, up. Not my fuel is there. Well, that was cool in its own way. Not in the way that the, uh, Come on, I want to recover. I know it's... Stop bouncing. Stop bouncing. Good. All right, now we have to put something into orbit and with these freaking controls, man. Recovery vessel, it survived. Okay, yep, good. What do you mean facility is locked? What do you mean the facility is locked? What, didn't I... Didn't I accomplish my last... Didn't I accomplish my last thing? What's going on? Why can't I use the... It wants me to perform that launch again. I guess it just really desperately wants that rocket to splash down into the ocean. Uh, well, we'll try that next time. I really hoped to get this mission done in a single episode, but apparently it's going to be a twofer. That's fine. See you guys next time, and then we're, we're going to... I'll just skip past this one, and we'll put a vessel into orbit. How about that? Yeah? All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.